Um, thank everybody for wanted to thank everybody for coming to um, we're really glad to be here and hope you like the talk. Um, before we get started, uh, kind of an introduction. This is an exposition of Chomsky's own ideas. Um, our goal is to attempt to clarify some of the leading ideas of Chomsky's biolinguistic minimalist approach. Um, and some of the ideas we'll be talking about uh, we find as full-time practitioners uh, pretty difficult to understand. Uh, and we think there's been some confusion about some of these ideas, and we hope that uh, clarification will lead to continued further interdisciplinary work and cooperation. Uh, none of the issues addressed in this talk are self-evident. Um, all of them are pretty difficult to understand, at least for us. Uh, parts of the talk are from epstein Seeley 2002 and from epstein Seeley 2006. Other parts are from Epstein 2006 and 2007, and other parts from Seeley 2006. But here we're trying to be as non-technical as we possibly can, focusing on certain of the foundational issues and current developments of Chomsky's biolinguistic framework of inquiry. And the uh, handout is not one that you just follow along with. We'll just point to uh, the numbers on the handout every, every so often um, for a, a few things. Um, key questions that we'll uh, address um, in the course of our discussion today, as you can see in three, for example, on the handout, uh, include these. What is the object of inquiry in biolinguistic minimalism? What is it that we're studying and where might it be? Uh, what, for example, and where is language? More specifically, what, for example, is French and where is it located? What methods can be used in exploring this object? In what sense are the methods scientific? And in what sense is the inquiry biological? Even more specifically, what we'd like to talk about uh, a bit today um, are, are the questions, can anatomy and physiology be concepts pertinent to cognitive science in general and linguistics construed as a cognitive science in particular? And if so, what explanatory benefits might this provide uh, the, uh, the linguist?